the fighting. Bam! Bam! Ding. Bam! In! Done! Uh, we will just op to open some music here for now. Probably need to save scum again though, at one point. Uh, okay, great projects. Manufactories, we don't want that, we don't need that. Uh, where are the siege deck? There we go. Another siege deck. Seven artillery. This is a good work stack. Somehow it has artillery. Fort in disrepair, and he is gone. I can't, I can't spend this admin at all, chat. I just can't spend this fucking admin at all. It's too much, too fucking much admin for me. It's just like no way I can spend this. And what's up, Benny? Like I'm fucking like overflowing in admin. There's no way I can spend it. <laughs> it's not possible to spend it. Same with the uh, mill, actually. Like I tried to, I tried to like breach forts over like non-stop, but it still isn't cutting it. It's too cheap to core. It costs like nothing. Come on. Give me something to core so I can spend my admin. Shoo. Ning. Yeah, I'm bleed creaking everyone. Literally bleed creaking everyone. All of China hates me, Timrit hates me, Ottoman hates me, Russia hates me. Other than that, nobody hates me. And other than that, nobody hates me. I'm a lovable guy. What is this shit? Yo, what Ning? Oh, shit. <sighs> Again, done this. Shredden. Uh, Ning. 
annexation. Take 17 months. <laughs> it's actually amazing me at work. What do you mean? <laughs> How I blob out my 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 mind and shit. <laughs> Blow my brains out. China will be ours. We'll be in Moscow by Christmas. <laughs> Just steam through the game. Well, I mean, I can't take all the credits, right? There is like the infinite uh, money exploit that I'm using, which is kind of hilariously fun. Because then it allows me to do all these things. What do you think about forming Rome, especially early in the game? You get 10% admin efficiency. How do you plan on forming room early in the game, though? Like, what? What? How do you plan on doing that? If you don't mind me saying it, is it like doing like mammoth's ambition or something, or what? Or just normally forming it one way, like or another? Consistent crunch at the crunch. Oh, well, thanks, man. Big dick or big dick. <laughs> thanks a lot for that. That's really nice to hear. Mammoth's ambition's a bit slower. Yeah, but then if you're doing Mammoth's ambition, you basically already won. Like, forming Rome or not, you're the Ottomans. You don't need Rome. You will steam through the whole game like with the crazy missions and, and claims anyway. You can do it with exploding. Well, I did it in 1490 without exploding. <laughs> if you use the exploit, you can do it even faster, I think. The thing is like, you get auto- I mean, I mean, I mean you remember that, uh, maybe you didn't, but I once did a France, uh, Form, form Rome before 1600. France. You, using France. Form Rome before 1600. Uh, no no coalition. Uh, yeah, no coalition. Uh, no exploding. And that's 1600. So even if, if you don't use any exploit, if you don't use any like crazy mission, like, I mean, back then it didn't even exist. Back then it was like, it was just like the old system mission didn't even exist. Um, yeah, so you form Rome and you get the missions. Well, you don't get the missions for Rome. There's no mission for Rome, I think. Um, you get the you get the ideas for Rome, but it's not even that strong, right? Unless they change it. It was it was like like you're better off like forming Italy, which is easy as fuck. Okay, let's see. Five percent discipline. All right, not bad. But this is standard for all the major nations. Minus two national unrest. Uh, okay, that's uh, that exists with Manchu already, and now the Ottomans too. Plus two deep rap, useless. SPQR twenty percent step cost, useless. Infantry combat ability ten percent, useless. 20% production efficiency, useless. National tax modifier, 10%, useless. 5% admin efficiency, alright, that's something decent. Call creation cost 25% and 5% years of separatism, okay, that's good. 33% manpower, that's also good. Yeah, but then for call creation cost and admin efficiency, why don't you just go for something like Scandinavia? <laughs> Scandinavia also has core creation cost, right? Or no? Well, I don't know. But Mukos has uh, both. Core creation cost and admin efficiency. I think now Ottomans also has it. Ottomans and Mukos now, like, you get the core creation cost from the ideas, and then you get the admin efficiency from missions. 
I think my Wukos and Ottomans both have it. Not sure about Scandinavia, but I remember Scandinavia definitely has us uh admin efficiency in there. Not sure about core creation cost. Liang. Why are they not uh well, can I fool annex? Yeah. Let's do it. Well, big dick, you're 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 actually uh, right. I was just like banging like countries after countries in my mammoth's ambition. Just everything. Just take. T I I took quite a bit of time setting up. Like, I'm I'm not the kind of player who just jump into the game and then immediately somehow like just thrive on chaos, right? Like there are people who jump into the game, like Marco Antonio. He just jumped into the game, boot up the game, and then he can conquer the world in like 30, 40 years with Manchu back in the day. Like, he just he just played very carefully, like almost bordering perfectly on every step, like speed 2 everything, and pause, and speed 2 and pause, and like that, I mean, that that's like, and then and then have like 1000 over extension, and just run by pure micro. Like, I'm not that kind of player, because I don't have the patience for it, but... I actually have a grand strategy where I set up first, and it takes some time to set up, and then I execute. I don't thrive on chaos, I thrive on ordered and, like, methodical play. Rome is great for one culture run. I don't disagree, but then you mean like after you've done the one culture, right? And then you hit the button to make everything Rome, Roman. But then, in, like I said, in that case, you might better off, like... I mean, it's it's still, like, an endgame formable, right? Like, you form it after you have already won the game. You don't form it just because it helps you. Isn't it? If anything, you might as well just form Tibet and, and make yourself a horde. I mean, I've never tried myself, but I've heard that's how you become a whore as anybody. That's what I heard. Uh, don't quote me on that. But uh, if that's the case, like, just do that instead. Or, like, change other religions, for example, like, Ma I don't know, Mayan or whatever. Hindu with the monuments. I think there are more things you can do than spamming, like going for one formable, which is like ridiculously difficult to form. Minus 25% CC cost and minus 10% cultural conversion time. The core creation cost is nothing special, honestly. You can form Italy and do the same. You can play as Ottomans, you can, for, you can for, play as the Ottomans, you can play as, uh, yeah. Ottoman has the 25%, Mughals has the 25%, you can form rum for it, you can even f play any horde and have it, right? <laughs> rum, rum has it, rum is like a replacement for Ottomans, Mughals has it, any horde has 25%, um, Italy has it, now I think Scandinavia also have some CCR, I and then the thing is, when you talk about cultural conversion time, why don't you just raise it as a horde? Raising it, it's not 10%, it's literally cutting it by half, depending on how much development is missing. Right? That's my take on it. Like, there's no way you take doing it. Normally, you do one culture run, either with uh, HRE or with hordes, that's it. You don't do it with... Uh, one singular formable. It, there's no formable that actually cuts the time because each development is 10, 10, 10 months. It's a, it's a fixed thing. Horde room. Well, like I said, play Kazan. I mean, it also helps that the earlier you start conquering, the less development there is in the world. Because people who can develop are dead. Right? So... 
that's my take on it. If the the earlier you start blobbing, the lower the less development at the end by the in total at the end of the game you have to deal with. So again, less less points required, less coring time required. Um, it also means that um, yeah, you can also. In fact, you can also raise something once. Wait 10 years. Now, is it 10 or 20? 10, I think it's 20 now. Or whatever. Release it. And then raise it again. <laughs> In Theoretically speaking, if you conquer the world fast enough, you can raise everything to 3 dev. Or, you know, something stupid like that. Just because you, you raise it, release it, and then raise it again. I mean, if you can st sit on it uncored for uh, forever, like, if you have 100 admin efficiency, where you can sit on it uncored forever, you can also theoretically raise it over and over again until the end of the game. Oh shit. That guy actually... Oh, I need a map for it. Russia, done. Russia is done. Let's start coring again. Muscovy. Oh, they're bankrupt. They're definitely bankrupt. Yeah, they're bankrupt. Peasant war. Modernization. Corporation cost app cost. Maximum absolutism. I don't think I'll play enough to long enough to get absolutism though. Governing cap. It's getting less, even even faster coring time. Oh, piss off! Who is this fucking guy? Oh my god! Just, just piss off! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! War score cost against other religion. Yes! Yes! There we go. We're going for it! And we're going for woo! Man! Fucking China is a rebel galore! Everyone just sp spamming rebel! What is going on? What the fuck? China's rebel galore! Like, rebels after rebels crossing borders! Like, come on, man! Go, go away! Look at what is this! Like... Goddamn! Even someone from Southeast Asia is having rebels! Like, come on! Leave me alone! If you they're gonna like what is like the game about these days exactly? So the 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 idea that paradox have is like oh yeah let's make everyone like have rebel spam like uh, Ming has it, Ottoman has it in mid game, um, anyone who takes the mandate has it because floods and other bullshit. What else? Oh yeah, this guy's bankrupt too. Well, again, like why is this guy bankrupt? How can he be bankrupt? He is he's sitting in fucking Hangzhou train node. Oh. How is he bankrupt? Exactly. He's not even the man. He's not Ming. He's not the 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 guy with the mandate. And why is he with fucking bankruptcy? I don't get it. Everyone.
everyone's fucking bankrupt. Everyone dies, everyone bankrupt, and then rebels spitting out more people, like... What the fuck? Paradox just ruined China, man. Paradox is ruining China, man. Well, they ruined, they ruined the Ottomans. Technically. The AI literally cannot deal with Janissary Decadence. Even though they say they could. Which is a blatant lie. Wei Lin. Oh yeah, look at this. More rebels there. Why is the guy so unstable? Illuminate me. What did, like, oh my. Yeah, sure, I'm the shit that I just see. Sure, 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 sure. Definitely good gameplay. This is the fucking gameplay I look, I, I, I need in my U4. God damn it. Oh yeah, Russia's bankrupt too, right now. Sure, sure, sure. And then now they have rebels. More rebels. Uh, am I fighting a guy? Or am I fighting just as someone else's rebels to win the war? I I am totally confused. Who exactly am I fighting? The Russians or the Germans? More of that, more of that, more of that. Don't you just love it when they become pushovers because they're bankrupt with one morale? <laughs> Don't you just love it? Oh my lord! I just fight you! How are these... It's the same stack! It's the same... It's the same Liang army. Like, I just destroy you two times. <laughs> Bitch, please. <laughs> Bitch, please. I just can, chat. They, 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 they really dropped the ball. On this patch, like, AI is... AI was shit before. In most patches, but this patch is like, yeah, sure, I am going to... I'm gonna drop a bunch of more rebel mechanics. Without caring how the AI is gonna react. Um, trust me, it will be fun. Trust me. Just trust me. The AI can deal with it. Well, guess what, genius? They can. I'm, I'm, at this point, I'm not even sure that human can deal with this bullshit. At this point, I just, I just can't, I just don't even think a human can deal with this bullshit. Well, or, or he becomes so nauseated, and, and it's so obnoxious that he want to kill himself. That's how it feels like. It's so nauseous that he wanna just kill himself. Global monthly devastation. That's 
that's really useful, honestly, for the whole world. That's gonna be really useful. All right, uh, mending of heaven. Sixty percent, and it needs one more year. We do that, and we get Yi and Lan Xiang. Okay, we have to choose break that guy too. And we have the choose break uh, Muscovy. Oh, 623, that's good. Finally, something nice for me. Japan, a new. Yeah, I can kill Japan too if I want to, but probably uh, doesn't really. Yeah, I don't really need to do that anymore. Oh, they aren't. They aren't. Like, what am. Yeah, there's no, there's no point getting Japan now. Doesn't really need to do that. Oh my god, more rebels. Yeah, sure, unseach my things, why don't you? Help yourself to my stuff. Choose break, uh, Muscovy, and then we peace out this guy. Points. Ha 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 ha. Well, must be my lucky day. Not gonna lie, chat. This feels like I'm playing on infinite points. This actually feels like I'm playing on infinite more not points. Okay. There's like this little piece here for my claims. And uh, Emperor of China still exist.
Ah, uh, yeah. Subjugate Korea, done. And we can, we can literally take Japan. What is the bonus? Should we do that? Yearly prestige and permanent claims on Japan. Yeah, we literally can do that. Actually, it might be a, one of the, my options to become Catholic by uh, if if Japan converts. I'll be right back. Alright, so Japan, we don't care. As much as I wanna- I have- I have an urge, chat. I would like to kill everyone and everything I see. But apparently right now, Japan is not the objective. So we'll let him be. For once in their sorry life, we will leave them alone. Alright, Moscow. Muscovy. I think it's a... Uh... Oh, it's still more than a war. That's fine. Why is this? Oh, because I didn't. I wasn't able to increase autonomy, I think. left somewhere don't know where Japan doesn't like me though. Maybe I should kill Japan. Play Doom. What is the kill? Okay, fine. If you want to, if you want to want the music, I will play it. Okay. It's only because of you, Catalyst. 
Only because you ask. It's all for you. Only for you. Oh, what the fuck? Uh oh! Spare of discovery. Alright, uh, more develop. Actually, you know what to do with the points? It's just. I really don't know what to do with the points. Do I need to flip to uh, Russian? Maybe I... Okay, you know what? I think I should make some Russian states. And uh, develop some of the land in Russia. It would be better that way. It'd be nice if um, we can lower the uh, autonomy on territories somehow. That would be nice. The next idea set unlocks in three tags, uh, so I can't load the attrition anyhow. anyhow. Fuck. Attrition really sucks. Got attrition everywhere.
Alright. Bankruptcy. Yeah, attack nine with attack eleven. I don't like. It will be a straight steamroll, like the other guy said. Alright, the steps down there. Well, what was the uh, formation now? 10 for 10. Okay. Man, what the fuck? Are we losing that? No 
lose 20 and it would just Fuck that. Fuck that, no. More artillery coming and more barrages. Barrage. No barrage there. That's not the right. That's not the such deck. Uh, barrage. Conquest of Poland. Why can't you see HRE? Because I haven't discovered it. It's like you, you need to discover certain portion before you can see it. I mean, like, I can look at Austria, I can see this, but it's like, I mean, I don't know how the game decides it, but it's like you have to see more, I think, before you can actually get the tab open. Don't ask me why. It's, it's paradox. that I literally do not give a shit anymore. Burks company, low manpower. Don't care. <laughs> Who cares? He's mer that's what mercenaries are for. Vaja, then Bohemia. Why is Bohemia at forty nine again? How are they sieging that fast? What? Oh, I go, thank god, they abandoned it. <laughs> Shinto. Just need to see Emperor. Not necessarily, no. Well, the thing is here, I still don't know if... How we're gonna get Catholic. It's like here, I know we need to spawn a bunch of rebels or some shit. The usual shenanigans. Probably. And <sighs> it is so annoying. They do that.
Catholic Russia. Well, we need to be the emperor, right? What else? How else are we gonna do it? Do you think I should do it? Nine hundred and Well, I don't plan on forming Russia for the fun of it, though. It was the part, literally the part of the achievement. You have to form Russia. Uh, you have to you have to be the emperor of XRE, emperor of China and Russia. It's literally how it is. I I don't make the rules. <laughs> so to speak, I didn't make the rules. for the missions, some might not work. No, I don't. I know! You, you lose the government, literally. You don't- you, you cannot have Sardom when you are not orthodox. So, I know that the government won't work in the first place. But actually, um... If we get the- if we get the Emperor of China and then form Russia, we will- I, I tested it, you will actually lose, uh, Celestial Empire. So you don't get, I think you don't get the Unix, uh, or do you get a Unix? I don't know, like, you don't get meritocracy, you get back monarchy. That's a good, oh, that's, that's a good thing, actually. Because nobody likes meritocracy.
All right, uh, let's put some shit in trade company. Maybe at one point I will um, make them states, but that's after forming Russia. We'll talk about it after forming Russia. Eighty-five autonomy everywhere. I hope. Uh, what does this see actually? Three train notes. Yeah, we, I think we do have everything. One, two, three, four, five. So, uh, I think so. I think that's. That's all right. Did do Crimea, right? Uh, did do Crimea. And now we have even like um, Kiev. I don't. I don't. Not sure actually, chat. Does uh, forming Russia move my capital? I think it doesn't. I think it doesn't. Trans Sierra Tibet Company, South China. I should have South China. Uh, somehow I don't. South China, Sichuan, Siberia. Siberia. What a shithole, Siberia. Ruthenia, North, Ch North China. Crimea, Ufania, Tibetan Company. Yeah, I just fuck it. Just do it like that. Yep. Good. More merchants. 